On December 8th, a parade of truckers, supporters, police, and Patriot Guard riders will leave their Worcester Wreath Company in Harrington, Maine, to escort more than 100,000 Maine made wreaths to Arlington National Cemetery. Coordinating this convoy is a huge commitment and logistically challenging. But for John O'Leary and his wife, Bunny, it is a labor of love. You have been involved for several years this now. This will be my eighth year. Why do you do it? Well, I do it because uh, I grew up during Vietnam and I was in the service during the Vietnam era. And uh, what happened to our men and women who came back from Vietnam back then wasn't really good for our country. And I want to make sure that these people uh, that gave their lives for our country are never forgotten. And this is a small way I can be involved in doing that. Of course, what Moral Worcester and Karen and Reese. Um, the Worcester Wreath Company are, are doing is, is phenomenal. And you've watched it grow from something that was a little bit smaller to really a tradition, a national tradition now. Yeah, I've been uh, pretty lucky actually to uh, be in uh, at the beginning of Wreaths Across America. Before I was part of it, it was more over Worcester, Karen Worcester and their children bringing wreaths to Arlington every year with a uh, a trucking company from down East Maine. Now what is it like? Now it's, it's, <laughs> it's a little more hectic than that. Just a little. Yeah, we uh, take a year to plan the trip. It's a seven day trip with uh, averages about 25 stops at schools, uh, town halls, VFWs, Legion halls, um, town memorials with trailer trucks. This year, for example, we have 12 trailer trucks going a bus uh, filled with Blue Star and Gold Star uh, mothers and families and veterans. It's, uh, it's quite a difference from when we first started. A big difference. And you and your wife, Bunny, who of course is in Harrington right now, dealing right. with yeah, everything there, but the two of you coordinate all of this. That's a huge undertaking, John. Yes, we do do that. And uh, <laughs> it is huge. It's, it's a lot of fun. It has its, uh, I used to have brown hair a long time ago. Uh, uh, it's, it's exciting, uh, and I'm honored to say that in every year I get to lead the whole Caribbean going to Arlington. Which they call, like, is it the, the a veterans parade or the longest the parade? The longest veteran, veterans parade in the world. Um, sometimes we stretch out three or four miles long depending on the, the amount of motorcycles or the groups that join us as we head down. My job every year is to get to Arlington at a certain time, and so far we have. <laughs> um, we close down the George Washington Bridge every year and go across it with nobody on it but us. You know, the New Jersey State Police block all the traffic behind us, don't let anybody pass our trucks to honor the wreaths and what they're their symbol is. Uh, it's, it just brings out the best in everybody. Well, I, people are watching. It's precious cargo. You're carrying, you know, more than 100,000 wreaths that are going to Arlington to lay on the, the graves of our fallen soldiers and, and Marines. And, and I think people realize how important it's, the, it symbolizes so much. It, it does. And, you know, when I first started this, uh, I, I didn't realize I, I knew how important it was to honor our men and women who served, but I didn't uh, understand the importance and the enormity of such uh, an act of kindness from two people in Maine and what they've accomplished. I mean, I, I keep saying to them when I speak at places, Moreland Karen Worcester started with 5,000 wreaths uh, with their family going to Arlington just because it was the right thing to do. This year, over half a million wreaths will go out across the country in eight short years. It's, it's just incredible. And all these wreaths are sponsored by, by Americans. And, you know, Maura Worcester does donate about 30 to 40,000 wreaths every year himself. So, you know, what, what business can afford to donate 30 or 40,000 pieces of their product? Well, he does because it's the right thing to do. You and Bunny also, you this is volunteer, 
Sunday Absolutely. Night. Yeah, we do volunteer. We we love it, especially knowing our boys when they leave home. Uh, they've both been deployed twice uh, to Iraq and Afghanistan. When they leave home, we don't know how they're going to return. Uh, being a member of the Patriot Guard, I've been to many airports on, at the, you know, the, the part of the airport where nobody goes, and that's where the caskets come in. And I've greeted many, many uh, planes uh, escorting their casket. So you never know, and, and that's, I think, it has a lot to do with why we do it, you know. Your two it, sons are both in the Air National right. Guard, correct, in Maine? That's right. Both our boys are in the Air National Guard in South Portland. Very proud of them for what they do. Very proud, but very nervous when they go overseas like any family, you know. Sure. So we know firsthand what parents go through. Uh, it's not easy, but proud. You can relate very well to the, the reasons why you're doing this. We can relate. And you know, when we first started this, you know, John and Bunny doing this, John and Bunny's doing that. And, and you don't realize, uh, it, it took me a couple of years to realize just how important what we do is. Um, you were putting a wreath on a grave, uh, honoring that soldier, okay. But if, if you hear the stories of the Gold Star families um, and Gold Star mothers, and uh, introducing their sons at our stops is one of the things they do. When you greet a Gold Star mother or Gold Star families, they introduce themselves and, and the next words out of their mouth is their son's name. And that's when you know how important it is. There was, uh, they presented wreaths to all the Gold Star families in Connecticut, of course, whose sons or daughters died in the war. And in front of us, <clears throat> there was a, a young mother whose son was killed, and after the ceremony, she got up and turned around and thanked us for what we did. And uh, that was tough for me, and I realized really then how much how important it is, and and that what we do. And she couldn't uh, make it to Arlington; she hadn't been there in a few years, and and we took the the information about her son's stone, and, and we uh, put a wreath on her son's grave that year. It brings out the best in everybody. It does. The first time we went across the George Washington Bridge, the first year that I had it closed down for us, we, we crossed it at the precise time I told them people we would do it. They didn't believe we could get that whole caravan to the George Washington Bridge on time, and we did it. For some reason, everything just worked out right in Connecticut as we came across them. The, and uh, that's the first time um, money ever saw me cry. It was just so emotional, you know, that uh, it was incredible. It's not every day that George Washington Bridge gets shut down. Or John cries. <laughs> <laughs> or John cries. <laughs> he got me going. <laughs> What started off as a simple gesture from the Worcester family has turned into a national tradition. It is one John and Bunny O'Leary are proud and humbled to be a part of. And the Worcester Wreath Company is still looking for donations. To find out how you can help, go to ShannonMoss.com. Coming up, one of General Bill Libby's favorite hobbies.